But the state is also mandating more testing of student athletes. The governor is blaming the spike in COVID cases on the reopening of high school sports. Rod Maloney joins us live with those new testing requirements and the reaction to those as well. Rod? Well, Kimberly, I don't get the impression that anybody's very happy about all of this, but the school districts and a lot of the teams said, look, we'll do whatever we got to do to get these kids playing. And so that's what's going to play out. But there's a problem tonight in that there aren't a lot of specifics out. There are more questions than answers about what's going to happen with the testing. High school student athletics will now be required to get tested before all sports practices and competitions. The governor's words sent a bit of a shockwave through the sports community statewide, but further clarification put the testing on a weekly, not a daily basis. Michigan High School Athletic Association Executive Director Mark Yule says the remaining winter sports are only mildly impacted. Wrestlers are already testing. So that's 32 boys basketball teams. It's 32 girls basketball teams, a rough number. We're talking 950 uh, basketball players that would still be remaining in our tournament the following week, that first full week of April. As for spring sports, well, the testing rules aren't available just yet, but Ewell is also concerned about the governor's decision to make the age range 13 to 19. Some of our highest participation numbers at the junior high level are in the spring when it comes to middle school uh, track and field. So for those middle school kids who are 13, what the order leads us to believe uh, right now is that they would have to test. After a year of this, there's considerable impact overall, says Lincoln Park School Superintendent Terry Dangerfield. I think at some point we have to have some common sense here and say that schools can only do so much without extra help. And that help can come in a variety of ways. That can come in form of funding, but it can also come in the form of people, which also comes at a cost. What he's really saying there and what he talked to me at length about is the fact that he says uh, for the governor to, to put in this kind of testing, she has to understand that it's a coach that ends up doing this testing, that the coach does the testing, gets the results, and then uploads it to a bulky state website that doesn't work so well. He says they could use some help out here, and uh, they're going to continue doing what they have to do, but it's getting tough. Reporting live in West Bloomfield, Rod Maloney, Local 4. Okay, Rod, thank you.